Hello everybody, this is another video by Richpin. Now what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be taking the leak down tester, cylinder leak down tester that we made the other day and we're going to show you how to use that. I've already taken the core out of the hose here off of my compression tester so we're ready to go. Now we're going to be using 100 PSI at the tester so the first thing we have to do is go over to the regulator on our feed line and we want to go 10 pounds over that. So we'll turn it up to 110 pounds right there. Okay, I'm going to be using my trusty bug plow for this uh, procedure. You can do this on any vehicle, of course, with a cylinder. Uh, the first thing we need to do is just get the engine warm. We don't want to heat it up to a hot temperature because you never want to take your spark plugs out of a hot engine. Now the next thing we need to do is take out one of the spark plugs and we need to find top dead center on the cylinder. You want the cylinder up on top dead center. Now if you're working on a standard shift car you don't really need to be on top dead center. You can just put it in gear and you can lock the engine down that way because when you put the air pressure into the cylinder it's going to want to push the cylinder over but most cars are automatic so we're going to be doing it this way we'll be going to bring it up the top dead center so first we need to put in our hose here already taken out the spark plug and what we're going to do is we're going to turn the engine over by hand and feel the pressure of the cylinder then we'll know that we're coming up to top dead center. Okay, right there I feel the pressure. Next thing you want to do is remove that hose and I'm going to be inserting a wooden dowel in through the spark plug hose so I can know when the pistons exactly on top dead center. Now I'm going to rotate the engine Look at the dowel. It's moving, it's moving. It went past a little bit. Right there. Piston should be right at the top of its stroke. Okay, now we can put the hose in. Now, we want our regulator backed all the way counterclockwise before we put our air on. And what we're going to do is we're going to turn the regulator up and we're going to bring the pressure on the gauge up to 100 pounds. And then we're going to connect it to the hose. And what we're looking for is we're hopefully we want to see no more than 10% leakage. So if it goes down to 90 PSI, that would be 10%. So that's what we're looking for. And as soon as you Put that on, you want to take a reading, and you are done. Okay, we're up to 100 PSI, let's see what happens. Okay, man, we got a lot of leakage here. We're at 40. This engine is very old. Okay, let's try that again. Make sure the reading was correct. All right, the needle went down and it came back up. Now it's stabilizing at 40 psi. Okay, now I want to pinpoint where that leakage is occurring. So I'm going to use my stethoscope here. And I'm going to go into the exhaust pipe. And I'm going to go into the carburetor, or you can go into your throttle body if you have it. 
And I'm going to take out the dipstick. Check there. And most of the air is definitely coming out the exhaust pipe. So we have a lot of leakage in our exhaust valves. And you can also check the coolant. Take the cap off the coolant and see if you, you're having bubbles coming in the coolant and that would suggest that you have a problem most likely with the head gasket. So 40 PSI would be 60% leakage. That is not very good. But you got to take into account this Volkswagen is like a 74. They never had any real head gaskets on them. And of course we're probably leaking by the valves, the rings. So anyways, that is the leak down test. So that's all there is to doing a leak down test on your automotive engine. Okay, now we can put our hose back in. Yeah, put it in the right way. <laughs>